Welcome back. It's 445 on a very foggy Thursday morning before you do walk out the door. Just be prepared that it is going to be a slower than normal drive. The fog is very thick across much of the area. Let's start with a live view. This is from the French Quarter. That right band of light you see there, that is Rampart Street, and you can see about half a block down the quarter at the moment. So visibility is a quarter or below right now. That is dense fog, and everywhere you see a red number on your screen is considered uh, very, very low uh, visibility. From Bell Chase to New Orleans, through the river parishes, the Bayou parishes, up on the North Shore, we've got dense fog, and it really doesn't really get better until get up to like Macomb and Baton Rouge. So most of us are in the thick of that for this morning. Now the other big story and that's going to be with us the rest of the morning rain and yesterday. Boy, did we get some rain. Our highest totals that I could find Vashery was the big one. Seven 0.33 inches of rain fell yesterday. Mandeville was right behind it. Just over seven tenths of an inch of rain fell. Of course, had numerous flooding reports all across the river parishes and into St. Tammany. Thibodeau picked up some heavy rain flooding down there. Over six and a half inches fell in Thibodeau. Hammond was closer to three and a half to four inches, but as you got it, Kennery, how about Kenner? As you get into the New Orleans Metro, much, much lower totals. That rain came in, it parked itself, and it sat over parts of St. Tammany and the River Parishes and Upper Lafouche. And those are the spots that got hit the hardest. Rain this morning, well, we got a pretty good downpour right over I-10. That's going to be moving over Stennis at any moment. Other than that, we don't have any heavy rain, just some light scattered showers, very gloomy and drizzly with that fog around. Now, this afternoon, this is our next round of heavy rain coming in. Now, this one has movement to it, and that's important because yesterday's it moved in and it stalled. This one, I don't think is going to stall. So here we go. 10 o'clock notice we've got scattered storms arriving that will move in through the midday time frame. You're probably going to have a stormy lunchtime hour and then the good news. This should be moving out by five o'clock or so. So it is going to dump heavy rain as it arrives, but it moves in and it moves out and I think we get a break again tonight. Now tonight is probably going to be foggy again. Then here we go. Another round. This would be round three going into your Friday Friday morning. We start to see a lot of showers and storms fire up in the Gulf, and then we start to see some heavy rain take over the region as we go through your Friday morning into Friday afternoon and might even see some rain lingering into Friday evening. So parades on Friday are probably going to have some rain around. Now totals today are not going to add up to a whole lot, maybe one to two inches. Tomorrow's totals have a chance to be a little bit more if it's more widespread and a slower mover. So we're going to be watching for flooding. Yes, today some street flooding, but also some street flooding into Friday and maybe even into Friday night. Now Saturday morning we still have some rain, but Saturday afternoon is dry and then Sunday is dry and the next week we'll kick it off with cooler temperatures and dry weather. So our heaviest rain threat is going to be today and tomorrow improvements begin later on Saturday. So here's that seven day forecast. Temperatures are warmer. It's in the 70s. It's muggy. That's why we have fog. The fog will be an issue this morning. The fog will probably be an issue tonight again and tomorrow morning. Wouldn't be surprised. We still have some fog Saturday morning as well. Heavy rain will arrive through the midday time frame today. Heavy rain again tomorrow during the daytime rain Saturday morning, but then things clear out and notice rain and we go from 74 on Saturday to a high of only 56 on Sunday. Uh, that's a